Um, I want to press you just a little bit because the specific thing was, it says that PEPFAR data on recipient program results in funding is not systematically released. So it's hard to assess whether the funding decisions are being made on that basis. Is that one of the things where you say, well, actually it's changed and we're now doing it? Or is that one of the things you're saying, it's really hard, we can't do it? Or is it something where you're saying, yes, we hear you and we're going to do this? So which, which of those categories would the, re the release of information on recipient program results fall into? Um, a little bit of all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Can I draw you just a little more on that? <laughs> Fair enough. The, the, the structure of PEPFAR is such that OGAC is solely a coordinating agency, so we don't have any authorities over contracts. But that belongs to the implementing agencies, which would include USAID, CDC, DOD, uh, Peace Corps, Labor, so on and so forth. So those agencies follow their own contracting procedures. Um, and monitor their own contracts and the performance of those. So we don't actually have direct uh, access to the data uh, to, for, that are received from those. Could um, you request it from them? We, um, it's, we can request it, and there are discussions around that, but the actual, there, uh, there are always issues around to whom does it actually belong, and then what's proprietary. So it's, and then what, what information, at what point does the burden become more than the utility? Um, so it's all these things are, are brought to bear on this. Um, but I think we are, I think we're looking more from the avenue of the guidance piece of it. Um, but in terms of getting data from particular contractors and recipients and countries, I think that would be a much greater challenge for us. 